Well, hello there. My name is Vinay and you guys know me from Instagram as Wink Photography. Today, I'm here at the uh, Nanlite India studio in Mumbai. And uh, for the next set of YouTube videos that I have planned, I'm basically going to be working here, creating a setup here. And I'll show you guys around this Disneyland of lights. My favorite place in the world, basically. So let's get right into it. And let's see what we can do, first of all, by changing how this setup looks. It's a little dull, right? So let's work on that. It needs more light, it needs more enthusiasm, it needs more color, because we're at the Nan Light Studio. This should look like Disneyland. Let's make it look like Disneyland. So let's get some fresh new lights right out of the boxes, put them up, have a little fun with it. Perhaps something like this. Oh, that looks good. That looks great. <laughs> Let's go. So how do we get started? We need to set up a three-point lighting. Now, the kind of three-point lighting that you see in videos and books and stuff, I don't know, wherever, all across YouTube, is three-point lighting for you. That means you will have a key light on you, you will have a fill light to fill up the shadows created by the key light, and you'll have something for your hair, because your hair needs light. I do a little unconventional three-point lighting. I still use three lights, but they're not three lights at the same point. So, um, let me just set this up for you and explain as I uh, further progress along this video. So our first heavy duty boy is basically the Nanlite Forza 300B. We will go all Forzas today for as much as we can. So essentially why I've picked this light is that you need a stronger key light because a softbox is going to go on this and it's going to be key lighting you, obviously. So let's go and let's set this key light up and see how that looks like. So the reason I picked the Forza 300B is because I'm at the Nanlite studio and I can. So what I'm going to do is set this Forza 300B somewhere behind the camera, just pointing at me from one of the directions, left or right. And that's going to be my key light. So let's do that. Throw in a 90-inch parabola and set this key light up. So this is basically how the Forza 300B looks with the softbox. And let's just switch on right now. Ooh, okay, it's a little bright right now because my exposure is still set to the ambient light. So what I'll be doing is basically placing this light right behind the camera that's going to light me as the key light and then we'll switch these ugly lights off because no one wants ambient lights. Alright, so we have the Forza 300B right over here with the nice 90 inch parabola. We have switched off the ambient lights and this should be a nice key light onto us. And what we're going to do now is just fill in the frame, make it look more interesting. The reason why I've used the 300B is because it's bicolor and you can actually make the, the key light a little warm so it looks nice on your face. Perfect crisp light for perfect indoor environment. Let's go! That's perfect light on me. Now let's put more things in the frame. Alright, so now for the second light in the setup, I'll basically be using a power tube 30C. It's the four foot long tube light from Nanlite, it's RGB, it's beautiful, you can do whatever the hell you want with it and it's great to have a key light that comes in uh, primary sort of light colors like warm or white so you can easily color balance it because skin tone, you want it to look as skin tony as you can. So essentially uh, we have the RGB lights that are all going to be lighting up the background, the side, the fill or whatever but the key light should always be like bicolored light or just a basic daylight balance light or a tungsten balance light. We've set it to warm. It's about 3300 Kelvin, I think. It's a nice warm light on me right now. And then now we have the power tube 30C that I'm going to set to a little warm as well, just to see how that looks. And let's switch this on real quick. Ah, beautiful. Right now it is, uh, it's on CCT, color correction temperature. So correction color temperature I don't know what the hell CCD means exactly but it's color correction temperature so uh, it's right now warm and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this warm light as a practical and a kicker onto me so when I speak of a three-point light setup my three-point light setup involves one key light and two lights in the background doing hoo-ha and random stuff to just balance out the frame get the viewers attention right to where I am and that's basically how I'll be doing it so this light is basically 
going to be used as a uh, practical as well because I will be keeping it in the frame. I love it when these nanolite tubes just come in the frame and just starkly light up one part of the scene, increasing the uh, the, the, the power balance of light, the, the weight of the frame to one side and then you counter it with another color on the other side and that's how I like to do a three-point light setup basically. As you can see the background, if I switch this off right now, so we have these diagonals running right across the frame, right at my neckline. So what we'll do is we'll try and use this uh, power tube just to accent one of those diagonals because you can. And it just adds more interest and more starkness just because this light's also in the frame, we're using it as a practical. Of course, we have some background spill from the key light. So our background's currently lit a little bit because I've not gridded the softbox. I want a nice soft light all throughout. And what we'll do now is counter it with our third light in our three-point light setup. So let's get a Forza, Forza 60C. Let's get a Forza 60C to light the background up. This is the new Forza 60C. The beauty of the Forza 60C is that it's an RGBW extra XYZ, it's everything. It's a COB LED light that basically does RGB color as well. So it's a point source of light, point source of light at 60 watts that does RGB. We have come so far into lighting, it's not even funny because this is like a mini god of lights right now because it can do anything. You can put a softbox, you can put modifiers. You don't have to gel this light. You can do any color that you want right out of the light. And that's great. So what I'll do is I'm going to place this right in the background and let's see how we can just color balance the background to make it work with how we have placed both these other lights. So I'm going to keep moving around. Right now I've set it to red and uh, putting it right at my head makes it look a little weird. Definitely a little weird. So what we'll do is we'll shift it right off frame to this side and try and like a different color. Maybe let's try uh, uh, blue, purple, green. Let's try one of these. Okay, so the light's to one side right now. It's definitely a hot spot. It's bright, so I'm gonna reduce that. We don't want the light to be too distracting. Right now, it just looks like a blob. So what I'll do is I'm gonna make it fill into the frame. So it's gonna just starkly light it up this way. So we'll have a line here, we'll have a frame line over here, and we'll have some light coming in over this side. Or maybe we can just bounce it off the ceiling so it's more ambient in nature and uh, uh, less uh, UFO kind abduct you in a way. So yeah. Okay, so what we have done is we just place it right off frame so we get this nice background like an L shape going on over here. So of course the frame looks a little distorted, looks a little off. But you have a key light on you, you have this light over here bringing the viewer's attention right to you and you have a frame edge over here sort of like it's again pulling the viewer in. I still don't think this is the perfect combination. So what we'll do is we will make the blue a little, uh, I think we'll dim it down even more and we'll just see how it looks if I just fill in the frame. Okay, so what we have over here is basically the light is bouncing off the wall in front and it's just filling in the frame over here on the shadows. So uh, we have our kicker, we have a practical, we have our key light and we have the ambient fill. I actually like this. I think if we can replicate a power tube on the other side, it can be a very interesting frame to use. So uh, at this point of time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this frame. This frame looks good and I would like to proceed with this. But what we'll do is we'll just try a little more magic masala and let's see what we can do. And uh, I wanna get that streak. I wanna see how that streak looks. Until and unless I'm not happy with that streak, I will we'll come back to this. This is the easiest one to do. So let's just try that streak and let's see how that looks. So at this point, it's not really a streak. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the barn doors that was there on the Forza 60 C and just skim down the slides. So what I've done now is I've placed the light on the side. I have used the barn door mount and I have just given a little streak, reduced the intensity, but I've placed it against a pillar. So it's casting the shadow. I don't like the shadow. Let's remove it. All right. I actually kind of like this. This is more like the Aurora sort of effect going on. So it's coming on the top of the frame, coming right through me to my head so your viewers attention is right back at the head where it should be and I think we will keep that going we'll just fill it up even more take the light off a little further off so the lights a little softer where it's behind me and I think that should be a light setup let's try that out and there you have it I think this looks pretty interesting overall um, we can color grade this and see how that looks right now and I guess this works I have adjusted the light a little bit more and what we have is we have a little more spill 
some weird artifacting that's happening over here and I kind of like how it's looking at this point of time. I think this looks great. We have a nice contrast going on in blue. We have some warm. We have a nice ski light that's soft. So there you have it. We have started off our video series at the Nanlite Studio. We're going to go on to more reviews. We're going to go on to more setups, some shoots. So as a content creator on YouTube today, don't spend on the camera, don't spend on the lenses because yeah, they will cost you money. They will show you maybe a quality increase marginally that you probably won't even be able to see on uh, YouTube when you're seeing it on your phone. But these lights, these lights are what sell it. These lights are what make your videos look extremely high quality and extremely premium. So this was basically a video to show you guys how I set the lights up over here in the studio. It's unconventional three-point lighting and that's the only way I like to do it. Unconventional lighting. It's crazy good. It's crazy. It's crazy, girl. Anyways, catch you in the next one. Bye. I mean, we are at the Nanlite Studio. We don't just have three lights. We have 1,700 lights, if I may. So I thought, you know what? Let's change this up a little bit. And there you have it. Now, it looks like we're in the Nanlite Studio. So, what does our set of funny look like? We have a power tube 15C. We have two power tube second generations 15X. We have the key light, which is a Forza 300B. And we have a Forza 60C all the way there in the background. And that is basically our Aurora atmospheric ceiling lights. Basically. Yeah, uh, it's, it's an ambient film, if you like to call it.